And new tonight, some people in Gunnison are facing a 70% increase in their monthly lot fees after their mobile home park is sold. Attorney General Phil Weiser met with those residents very recently. A new law in Colorado created what's called the Fair Housing Unit, and it gives the Attorney General's office new authority to investigate unfair housing practices. We're in the process of getting this unit stood up. It's going to take a little time. And part of what this visit was valuable for me is to get a sense on the ground of how our work will make a difference for people. This effort and a newly filed lawsuit are these people's last hope of being able to keep those homes in Gunnison. CBS 4's Kelly Worthman takes a look at their battle tonight. This wall was coming down, so we decided to put tin on this wall. For the first time in her life, Elizabeth McGee is a homeowner. It's not what it is, it's what you make it, and I am making it my home. But her home is in jeopardy. She and all the residents at Country Meadows Mobile Home Park are facing a $300 increase in lot rent. The mobile home park sold, and the new owners immediately changed the name to Ski Town Village and hiked rents from $425 to $725. People in here can't afford that kind of money. That's why we live here. Hazel Bryant has lived there for 20 years. Her trailer is completely paid off. I'm on Social Security and I only get $895 a month to live on. A $725 a month lot fee is simply not feasible. I'll be homeless on the streets. Residents here tried to prevent this kind of rent hike. When they heard the park was going to be sold, they formed a board and tried to buy it themselves. With the amount of the offer that they were going to present, our rent would have only went up to $4.95 a month. The previous owner, Riverwalk Village LLC, simply never responded to residents, and the law didn't require it to do so. Instead, after nearly a year of uncertainty, the sale went through on April 28th, the exact same day that Ski Town Village LLC LLC was incorporated. As a representative of the county, I felt like it was very essential for us to do what we could to retain this affordable housing. Liz Smith is a Gunnison County Commissioner. She's been working with residents and has also appealed to state lawmakers to improve the law. It's not possible anymore, as I understand it, for the owners to just not consider the offer. In this last session, lawmakers passed more updates to the Mobile Home Protections Act. Now landlords have to attend up to two public meetings with residents every year. Landlords are also required to make repairs to the property for damage resulting from negligence, and residents have 180 days to put in their offer to buy instead of just 90 days. We were able to bring our story and our experience to those discussions and get those um, improvements made into the new legislation. The legislation may have come too late to help these residents. Now they're turning to the courts. Residents have filed a lawsuit against Ski Town Village. They want a jury to decide if the lot rent increase violates Colorado law. Elizabeth McGee and her neighbors will do everything they can to save their piece of the American dream. I'm not one to be a quitter. I'm one to keep fighting for what's right. Kelly Worthman reporting tonight. We did reach out to Ski Town Village for comment. Never heard back.